And so all of the things that uh, make a man's man, there are many. As I mentioned, I don't mention very many times a particular type of man. But there was a man that my father used to work with, my late father. And this man's name was John C. Begay. Now, John C. Begay, of course, grew up very much in poverty, like any, uh, uh, so many of the Dene. Uh, but he was taught the traditional ways of our people, uh, just like anybody else. But John C. Begay, there's a lot of John Begays, but when he was put into boarding school, they said, what's your name? John Begay. And there were probably a couple of dozen of John Begays in that, and so they went down and they said, okay, you're John A. Begay, you're John... Uh, B Begay, you're John C Begay, and so on down to the alphabet. So the middle initial became the just an initial, and so that's how John C Begay got his name. But uh, my father worked with John C, and uh, John C was a man's man. And uh, when he taught, people listen, and um, he took the time to uh, give advice, and he took the time to receive advice. And it was that uh, he was clean, he was organized, and uh, he never was a show-off. And he never blew his own horn and that uh, to impress people. And he never gave any indication that he was better than anyone else in something. No, he did not. He was kind, considerate, and he never indulged in any type of uh, discussions that were completely wrong to talk about women disrespectfully, to talk about things that were not right. And uh, of course, uh, he was a good husband. He was a good father. He was a good son and a good uncle or any type of relationship that he could have with anybody. And uh, he was not afraid to stand up for his beliefs. And uh, sometimes he's the only one, you know, that would be standing while everybody else might uh, abandon uh, an issue. He did it without fear. And he had a great relationship with his higher power, or with deity, as, they un as he understood that. And uh, there are not many men like that. And But my father, in observing John C. Begay, one day he said to me, he says, if everybody ever done could be like this man, we would absolutely have no problems in the Navajo Nation. All of our problems would be gone. And he said, That is the way that the, to be the man, man and to be the man, man of the people and to be a man in your family, to be all of the things that you know that is proper and being a man and being a man in your family, being a man in society and to be able to present yourself to the holy people as not only the man and the uh, a man in your family, but to say, this is the best man that I can be, holy people, and here I am. There are not very, very many people that are that type of man, and they are very special people.